Hi everybody, I am back with the solutions of exercise 1.2. Now the first question I will read out for you. A book exhibition was held for 4 days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was respectively 1094. 1812, 2050, and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. So, here in a book exhibition of four days in a school, how many tickets were sold on these four days are given to you? To find out the total number of tickets sold on all the four days, we have to add. What we have to do? You have to add. So here the steps will be, steps you can write on your own, in whichever way you write to, want to write, you can write. From the question itself, you can make out what you have to do, what is required and what you have to find. The number of tickets. Here the question talks about number of tickets. So what are you going to write? The number of tickets sold on. First day, 1094. Second day, 1812. Third day, 2050. Fourth day, 2751. We are adding all these four numbers and what do we get? 7707. And how will you finish up your solution? You will write one more step. The total number of tickets sold on all the four days is equal to 7,707 tickets. Let's move on to second question. Sekhar is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6,980 runs in test match. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs he need? So, what does the question say? It tells you about the scores of Sekhar. Sekhar wants to complete 10,000 10, runs, but up till now he has scored 6,980 runs. And what we need to find is how many more runs he need to do to, come to meet his own target of 10,000. So when a question tells you how many more or how many less, you subtract. Okay? You don't add, you subtract. So steps will be like this. Run scored by Sekhar. Up till now scored. Score of Sekhar is 6980. Then runs he wishes to score is 10,000. Then number of runs or runs he need more. How many more runs he requires? 10,000 minus 6,980. You will subtract and the answer which you get is the runs needed to score to meet his target of 10,000. It will be 3,020. Subtraction you know how to subtract. I need not teach you again. Here zeros are there at the top and below you have numbers bigger than zero. In that case, what do you do? You borrow and then you carry out the subtraction. Okay? Question fourth is in homework. Now, we see question number five. Find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit number that can be written that can be written using the digits 6 comma 2 comma 7 comma 4 comma 3 five single digit numbers are given to you using these numbers you have to make or generate greatest five digit number and least five digit number and after that you have to find out 
the difference between the two numbers so given digits are 6 2 7 4 3 you earlier how to generate greatest five digit number or smallest five digit number in other words i can tell you greatest any digit number and smallest any digit number so here we your next step will be greatest five digit number using this given numbers 76432 and smallest five digit number 23467 you can see greatest five digit numbers are written by arranging the given numbers single digit number in descending order and smallest five digit number you can write arranging the numbers in ascending order then you take out the difference find out the difference between the two or for that you will subtract the two numbers on subtracting you get 52965 so here the solution of question number 5 ends now we move on to question number 6 sums are very easy but as you all know when you hear the word solve the word problems word problems scare you out and for that purpose only i didn't give these word problems in homework homework means i have not assigned this work for you to do it on your own but thought of solving the sums for you so that in the coming exercises you can do the sums on your own you won't require my help so now next question is a machine on an average manufactures 2825 screws a day how many screws did it produce in the month of january 2006 now how many days are there in the month of january yes there are 31 days and in the question number of screws produced in a day or per day is given to you 2825 and to find out total number of screws produced in the month of january what you are going to do you will multiply number of screws per day with total number of days in the month of january so here it is in a day average screws manufactured by a machine is equal to 2825 screws number of screws produced in the month of january is equal to 2825 multiplied by 31 days how many screws you will get i need not show you the multiplication that multiplication you have to do it in the notebook as a fair calculation not as a rough calculation at the back of the or on the last page of the notebook you have to do it under the steps itself so answer is 87575 screws question 7 a merchant had 78592 rupees with her she placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets at rupees 1200 each how much money will remain after the purchase so merchant has 78592 rupees with her and uh, she needs to purchase radio sets and how many radio sets she wants to purchase 40 radio sets she wants to purchase and cost of each radio set is 1200 now how much money will remain after the purchase you cannot directly subtract or add now the sums are go- going to get little complicated no 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 don't get scared the sum the sum given sum is very easy but you have to 
do little more calculation okay first what you have to do if you read the question carefully you will understand that you have to find out what is the total cost of 40 radio sets right and then only you can find out how much money will remain because in the starting of the uh, exercise in the first sum itself I told you when in the question it is asked how much more how much less how much is left you do subtraction right but here you cannot do direct subtraction you can make out from the question itself cost of one radio set is given but she needs to needs 40 radio sets so first you have to find out cost of 40 radio sets so here we go with the solution I have made two parts that will tell you that whether you have to multiply or divide to get the answer radio set and cost cost of one radio set is 1200 and how many radio sets are given 40 so I will write it under radio set 40 so cross multiplication to find out the cost of 40 radio sets I will multiply 40 with 1200 so cost of 40 radio set gives you 12 fours are 48 and behind 48 how many zeros are going to come 1 2 and 3 the multiplication is very easy if you know the table of 12 so rupees 48,000 is cost of 40 radio sets now you can find out how much money will remain after the purchase for that what you have to do you have to subtract 48,000 from the amount the merchant had with her 78,592 minus 48,000 gives you 30,592 rupees so the mistake which I have made over here I forgot to write rupee symbol in front of here we go with the 8th question a student multiplied 7,236 by 65 instead of multiplying by 56 instead of multiplying by 56 so what does the question say the correct multiplication was that the student was supposed to multiply 56 to 7236 but the student made a mistake and multiplied 65 with 7236 now what you have to find out by how much was his answer greater than the correct answer right now what would be the correct answer the correct answer will be multiplying 7236 with 56 and the wrong answer will be multiplying 65 with 7236 so your steps are going to be like this you will multiply twice right one time with 65 and second time with 56 wrong answer 7236 multiplied by 65 multiplication you will carry out I have multiplied first with the ones digit okay 5 6 is a 30 3 carry over 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 3 18 8 here and 1 carry over 5 2 is a 10 plus 1 11 1 here and 1 carry over 5 7 is a 35 plus 1 36 now I am going to multiply 6 which is in tens place with the numbers given above but as I am going to multiply with 6 first I am going to write put 0 or a cross sign symbol because 6 is in tens place and 1 0 shows that it is in tens place so if I will put 0 over here and then I will start carrying uh, multiplying sorry 6 6 is a 36 so 6 here 3 carry over 6 3 is a 18 and 18 plus 3 21 1 you write over here and 2 carry over 6 2 is a 12 12 plus 2 
fourteen, four over here and one carry over. Six sevens are forty-two. Forty-two plus one, forty-three. And so you get. Now you add up the numbers and you get four lakh seventy thousand three hundred forty. Similarly, you will multiply. The step will be correct answer, and then you will multiply. Fifty-six with seven thousand two hundred thirty-six, and you get four lakh five thousand two hundred sixteen. Now find out the difference between the two answers to get the required answer. How much was the his answer greater than the correct answer? So you get on subtracting, you get sixty-five thousand one hundred twenty-four. So this was the blunder. made by the student so this teaches you one lesson while you read the question you need to copy down the figures correctly when you are solving the sums otherwise you make a big mistake and you get an incorrect answer next question question number 9 see before i move on to question number 9 i would like to clear it out that if you have any doubt at the end of the video you don't hesitate you can immediately put up your question on my personal number or in the group so that when i see your doubt i will clear out your doubt if it is possible that moment itself or i will prepare a pdf again or an audio to explain you or clear out your doubt is that clear to you so do not hesitate whenever you have doubt you clear it out with me now your ninth question to stitch a shirt 2 meter 15 cm cloth is needed how much cloth is required 2 meter 15 cm cloth is required to stitch a shirt out of 40 meter cloth how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain so here the hint is given in the question you have to convert meter into centimeter so your work becomes easier okay so total cloth is given to you and cloth required to prepare one shirt is also given to you now you have to find out number of shirts that can be stitched from 40 meter cloth and how much cloth will remain after that so this is your question let's start solving as you are asked to convert meter into centimeter you can see i have started with the total cloth present over here 40 meter cloth is there so 40 meter you have to convert into centimeter and the conversion you know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so how much is going to be 40 meter in centimeter 40 multiplied by 100 gives you 4000 centimeter right so total cloth you have is 4000 cm cloth and from that you have to make shirts where each shirt require 2 meter and 15 cm cloth so now this 2 meter also has to be converted into cm cloth required to stitch a shirt is 2 meter 15 cm converted into cm 2 multiplied by 100 gives you 200 cm 200 plus 15 gives you 215 cm in total now number of shirts that can be stitched for this you have to divide to get the number of shirts you have to divide 4000 by 215 here you can see how i have carried out the division okay 215 is a three digit number so from the dividend you have to take three digit first so you have taken 400 215 ones are you have to multiply and get the answer huh? 
I know, I even don't know the table. I have to multiply and check. So you have to do. So on dividing, I'm getting 18. It is not completely divisible because 4000, when I'm dividing by 215, I can find that remainder 130 is there, which is smaller than 215 and no more digits are left here in 4000 to continue division. So, I will stop the division here. 18 is quotient, remainder is 130. So, 18 thirds can be stitched from 4000 centimeter cloth. And how much cloth will be left out? It will be 130 centimeter. So, here I conclude 18 thirds can be stitched and 130 centimeter cloth will remain unstitched. Tenth question. Medicine is packed in boxes each weighing 4 kg 500 gram. How many such boxes can be loaded in a van which cannot carry beyond 800 kg? The capacity of van carrying load is 800 kg. Here we have to convert as we did it in the previous sum. Here we have to convert kg into gram. Right? So medicine is packed in boxes and what is the weight carried in carried by each box? It is 4 kg 500 gram. So we are converting weight of one box 4 kg 500 into grams 4 kg is equal to 4000 gram plus 500 gram gives you 4500 gram so weight of one box is 4500 gram and maximum load can be loaded in van is 800 kg so 800 multiplied by 1000 gives you 8 lakh grams how many grams? 8 lakh grams. Right? So, what you have to find out, how many such boxes can be loaded? For that, you have to divide. Total weight is given to you and weight of one object is given to you and you have to find out the number of that object. You always have to divide. Total weight divided by weight of each box ok so here we carry out the division division becomes easier when you have zeros at the back you can cut off the zeros two zeros here two zeros from the back you remove right two zeros means hundred and here also two zeros means hundred 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 gone now you have eight thousand upon forty five carry out division you divide eight thousand by forty five I have not showed the division that you have to do it and the answer is 177 boxes. Here in the question itself, nothing was given that how many boxes will be left back. So complete division takes place and you have 177 boxes. See children, now we come to the second last sum but this will be the last sum I am going to explain because the twelfth question you have to do it yourself right from this exercise two sums you are going to do question number four and question number twelve you will solve it on your own what does the eleventh question tell you let's see the distance between the school and a student's house is 1 kilometer 875 meter. Every day she walks both ways. Matlab, wo ghar se school or school se ghar aati hai. Right? She has to walk and everybody has to do to and fro. Movement to go to school and come back home. Find the total distance covered by her in six days. So, kya hoga? Aapko kya karna hoga first? 
first you have to convert kilometer into meter so the distance between the school and the student's house is 1 kilometer 875 meter how many meter is equal to meters is equal to 1 kilometer 1000 meters right so 1 kilometer will be multiplied with 1000 to convert into meter so 1000 multiplied by 1 gives you 1000 meter plus 875 gives you 1875 meter daily the student walks from her house to school 1875 meter but what will be the total meters she walks when she comes back also to home she walks both ways so total distance covered by her daily will be 1875 plus 1875 so total distance in meter will be 3750 she is very obedient child she walks from home to school and while she comes back from school to home she doesn't go anywhere else directly she comes to home so the distance doesn't increase the distance remains the same in both the cases so total distance covered by her in 6 days one day she walks 3750 meter then for 6 days what will be the total distance you have to multiply to find out the answer so 3750 multiplied by 6 gives you 22500 meter okay so convert it in kilometer from the right hand side if you move three digit that will give you meter and the rest of the digits will go under kilometer so it will be 22 kilometer and 500 meter c walks or the distance covered by her in 6 days okay and the 12th sum you have to solve it on your own